This is a typical halftime show. But Sunday is not your typical game, nor typical performance. We just are really happy to have the opportunity. The Minnesota Orchestra will be your halftime entertainment when the Vikes and Pack square off at U.S. Bank. If you're envisioning tubas and timpanis and bassists running down the sidelines, you're not far off. The 70-piece ensemble has two minutes to get on the field, followed by an eight-minute performance. What are people going to see at the game? Because it's not going to be like a regular stage performance. This is the NFL. I know it's going to be bigger and kind of badder than that, right? Well, first of all, yeah, it's going to be very different than one would see in Orchestra Hall for a couple reasons. First of all, it's, <clears throat> it's a huge place. It's a huge arena. And, um, and also, there, there needs to be a, a very strong visual content to it. So I think they've really come up with, uh, uh, with computer mapping uh, using the field itself as the uh, projection uh, uh, screen uh, and including the orchestra set up as part of that whole uh, uh, projection area. It really uh, integrates visually the orchestra performance into the other uh, visuals which are extremely compelling. They're very exciting. So it'll look kind of like the opening ceremony of the Olympics a little bit. Where you yeah, see it, it will be it will be similar. It's it's certainly the same type of, of technology applied. What are we going to hear? What are they going to play? Well, I'm I'm not at liberty to tell you, but there is a uh, uh, there's there's classical uh, elements to it, and then there's a, a Prince piece of it uh, as well. What Prince song are you going to play? I can't tell you. A medley. That's, Oh, I can't tell you that either. That, I no, I, I, I've been sworn to secrecy. Two years ago, this would have been impossible. A labor dispute turned musician lockout grabbed national headlines. The famous conductor, Osmo Vanska, quit. It was not good. So I arrived after that was all resolved, and at that point there was a, you know, we were just getting back on our feet and putting things back together, and that's happened much more quickly and uh, more powerfully than we would have even hoped. He's right. Osmo's back in the driver's seat. The orchestra made an historic trip to Cuba last year, and this summer, a European tour in old Viking territory. Now back to celebrate a new Vikings stadium. I think the fans are gonna love it. So we're, we're come Sunday, we'll be ready to play. We're ready to go. Unfortunately, unless you're a ticket holder, you're not going to be able to see the performance because they're not going to show it on NBC. Oh, that's right. What? Yeah, well, the halftime, yeah, we're not going to be able to see it. But it's going to be cool. And if you don't think classical music goes with football, all you got to do is go back to those old films in the 60s and 70s, the NFL films, where all it was was classical music to football highlights, right? Are they going to run with, like, those big instruments off the field? Yeah, they get two minutes to get on and off. So imagine Even you know, the some, harp? Guy, some man or woman with a bass just trying to lug it off. <laughs> no harp. I, no, the harp won't be there. I okay. think it's Too exciting. Heavy. I like that they're doing something I different. I think it's cool. Yeah. I love it. Can't I want to see Awesome. It. Thank you, Chris. Yep. All right, thanks, it. Chris. Well, just in case.